Colorado Parks and Wildlife called it a wolf depredation incident that involved two Border Collie dogs. In everyday speak, that means the dogs were attacked by wolves. So I went down to the kennel to go check on my male dog, you know, because he never showed up. And there were multiple wolf tracks everywhere. Carlos Atencio is a working cowboy on a cattle ranch near Walden, Colorado. It was his two dogs, Izzy and Buster, that were attacked by the wolves. The wolves basically went in the front door and just drug him out or got him, you know, got him stirred up enough where the dogs came out to defend their territory. Izzy escaped the attack with her life. Buster, bus for short, put up a fight but was just outnumbered. You know, my male dog put up a, a heck of a fight, judging by the, the, the autopsy or the necropsy that they did, C CPW did. Um, you know, and I think that honestly, you know, had my female dog, gave my female dog enough time to, to get away. Gray wolves are an endangered species in Colorado. You are not allowed to harm one, even if it's attacking an animal you own. But the CBW may be changing the laws on hazing wolves. They are soon to vote on that. If it works, honestly, I'd be all for it. I don't know if they would you know, if they'd honor that. I don't know if they'd, they'd stir them up, if that would get them afraid. Carlos Atencio says hazing would not have made a difference for Izzy and Buster. It's just part of life, he says, working on a ranch. Any story about wolves in Colorado is a hot topic, but it might be interesting to note, according to the CPW, no wolves were ever introduced to Colorado ever. They just migrated naturally. In Denver, Dan DeRue, Fox 31.